What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and we're back for a new video. So I recently got this question on one of my blog posts about how to set the first month of a subscription to zero and then not show the recurring total and subtotal amount in the checkout or cart and checkout. So to do this, you have to be using WooCommerce subscriptions and I'll put that link in the description box below, but I'm just gonna go through this of how to hide this on your WooCommerce store. But first, if you're new here, make sure to give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and all the links can be found in the description box below. I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of 2021. Do your part, click that like if you want to. Okay, so how am I going to do this? So I am just gonna go to this kind of subscription product I have set up, and I'll go through a couple different examples. So right now when we edit this product, we have this as $12 every month and we have a free trial for one month. And we have the sign up fee set to zero, right? So if I come back to my product, I can see that we have $12 a month with one month free trial. And if I click buy now, um, we see these recurring totals right here. We don't wanna see that. Um, we want to hide this and only show zero. So how are we gonna hide these recurring totals? Well, we can come back to our WordPress dashboards, go to plugins, and we're going to add a new plugin. And we're just gonna use the code snippets plugin. I know you could use you know, the functions.php file, or you know, if you'd like editing files through SSH or SFTP, you could do it that way too, but the code snippets plugin just makes it easier to add little snippets like this. So I am going to add a new snippet and let me just hide that snippet. Um, and let me just say hide recurring. Cool, and then I'm gonna come and I'm going to add this filter. I can add this in the description box below, but essentially I'm adding a new snippet. I can keep it running everywhere and I'm gonna save changes and activate the snippet. Okay, cool. So we come back to our cart page and we see these recurring totals right here, right? Because we have a subscription product in our cart. Now, if I refresh the page, so I'm just gonna come refresh it. You can see that we no longer have those recurring totals. So if I go to the checkout page as well, I can see that we don't have those recurring totals as well. So if I come back to my cart for a second, and even like this price where it says $12 a month with a one month free trial. If I don't really like how that price is showing up here as well, I could update this product, right? And I want to have it just say zero or one month free trial. How do we do something like this? Um, well, we can use the custom price drain plugin and I'll put that link in the description box below. This is a free plugin, but essentially I can come back to my plugins and I will also link this in my description box below so you guys can get it. But if I activate this custom price drain plugin and then I come and refresh this product, I am editing this light row subscription. If I come down here, I can see that we have this custom price drain field. So it says, you know, $12 a month with one month free trial. If I just wanted this to be zero, I could come back here and just update this to zero. Right, and we have a free trial for one month and we have a sign up fee as zero so we can um, get people to sign up, um, like adding their card with paying zero, essentially a free trial for a month and then it'll be $12 a month after the free trial expires. So let me just update this. And as you can see, it updates to zero and it also shows zero here and it shows zero there. And if I wanted to take this a step further, I could just update this back to zero and um, we're good to go. But to build off this, I could just like, maybe I wanted to have this just be one month free trial. If I did that, it will show up as one month free trial in the cart and checkout pages. Okay, cool. So another example we could do is if you're using like a virtual product, so right here, I have this starter product for um, $99 a month. And if I come back to this starter product and I edit the product, I can see that I have a one month free trial 
and I already added the custom price strain as an example before this tutorial just to prep. But if I didn't have this here, I updated this. You know, this is saying $99 a month with one month free trial. And let's just remove this. And if I come back here, let's say I want this to be, you know, start free trial as a sign up button. I could easily do that. So we'll just do something like this. So I'm just using this as an example. I'm using generate blocks with this. And if you can find that in the description box below as well. But if I come back here and I see this is free trial, um, and I could also add this um, custom price strain as just free trial. And if I do that, it's only for a month. And if I come back to this pricing page and I click free trial, it's just gonna show one month free trial for zero. And if I go to the checkout, um, it's going to show zero with no recurring totals. So. That is using the custom price strain plugin. I'll also put that in the description box below. But overall, if you got value out of this video in terms of hiding the recurring totals on the cart page and checkout page, as well as the custom price strain plugin, make sure you give me a like, give me a thumbs up. It really does a long way, helping me maybe build my channel, become a YouTuber. I don't know. So have a good rest of your day and yeah, see you next time. Peace.